So you've just found out that you tested positive for fructose intolerance. Right now, you may be feeling a little bit like this, or like this, or even this. It may seem confusing or overwhelming right now, but don't worry, we're here to help. We're going to give you the tools that you'll need to get through the next two weeks. No, 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 not those kinds of tools. I'm talking about things like how to read labels on food packaging, what foods to avoid and which foods you can eat, how to keep a food journal, and when you can start slowly introducing different foods back into your diet to see which ones are causing you all that discomfort you've been feeling. First, a little science. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Fructose is a sugar found in fruits and many other foods. Having fructose intolerance means your body cannot absorb fructose as well as other people. For the next two weeks, we'll have you follow a fructose-restricted diet to see if your symptoms improve. The full fructose-restricted diet isn't meant for long-term use because you might not get all the nutrients you need. But don't worry, we're going to go over all of the food groups to discuss what you should avoid from each, as well as what you can still eat. And we'll give you plenty of written materials so you don't have to memorize all of this information. After two weeks, you will slowly introduce fructose back into your diet. Many people can tolerate varying amounts of fructose throughout the day, but everyone is different. When you look at a food label for fructose intolerance, you want to look at the ingredient list at the bottom. There are a lot of different words for sugar that you need to look out for. If you see these sugars, that means the food should be avoided. Agave syrup, caramel, crystalline fructose, fructose, fructooligosaccharides, high fructose corn syrup, honey, invert sugar, isoglucose, Caro light corn syrup, levulose, maple syrup if it contains high fructose corn syrup, palm sugar, sugar substitutes including sucralose, splenda, and truvia, sugar alcohols including erythritol, mannitol, sorbitol, and xylitol. There are a lot of foods on that list, but if you do not see any of those ingredients, it's okay to eat. You can have anything with regular table sugar, brown sugar, corn syrup, sucrose, dextrose, caramel color, or cocoa powder. Fruit can have a high amount of natural fructose, so it is important during these two weeks that you only consume the following fruits in one half cup portions one to two times per day. Avocado, banana, blueberries, boysenberries, cranberries, strawberries, cantaloupe, honeydew, grapefruit, lemon, lime, grapes, kiwi, pineapple, rhubarb, tangelos, mandarin oranges, starfruit, and passion fruit. All other fruits, and especially juices and jellies, should be avoided. Luckily, most vegetables are allowed during the elimination diet. However, some have limits on portion sizes and should only be consumed in one half cup servings two times per day. Asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, green beans, okra, peas, summer and zucchini squash, sweet red peppers, fresh or canned tomato products, leeks, onions, garlic, and Jerusalem artichoke. Remember, all other veggies can be eaten without limitations. Let's talk about what you can have to drink and what you should avoid. You can drink anything that does not contain an ingredient from the list of sugars you must avoid. Don't worry, we'll give you that list. For example, cranberry juice is okay as long as it's 100% juice made with allowed sugars, but cran apple or cran grape should be avoided. Carbonated beverages and powder drinks are also fine as long as they aren't made with any of the sugars or artificial sweeteners on the avoid list. Most milk is okay, unless it's chocolate milk or any other flavored milk that contains high fructose corn syrup. And remember, the number one beverage of choice, water. Let's talk about your proteins. Most proteins are okay, such as any beef, fish, poultry, tofu, etc. You can eat legumes and soy products as well as many nuts, peanut butter without high fructose corn syrup or palm sugar, and seeds. Be wary of lunch meats that may be processed with honey or non-allowed sugars for these two weeks. We also advise to limit beans as they can cause gas production and exacerbate symptoms of fructose intolerance. Same thing goes for grains and starches. Any bread, pasta, rice, or flour is okay as long as it does not contain, you guessed it, high fructose corn syrup or any of the sugars on the first list. Sometimes kids need to limit wheat-containing grains to one serving per meal or snack only if symptoms persist. If you are unsure about this, please talk with your gastroenterologist or dietitian. What about dairy, you ask? Plain milk, 
any percentage is okay. The same goes for yogurt, ice cream, and milk alternatives. Choose plain flavors that do not have fruit on the bottom and avoid ones that are sweetened with fruit or forbidden sugars. Most plain and vanilla yogurts and ice creams are okay, but always read the food labels. We'll give you a grocery shopping list that contains, among other things, pre-approved dairy products you may choose from. Most cheese is okay, too. Standard cheeses like cheddar and provolone are the ones to go with. Unfortunately, many condiments contain high amounts of fructose. You should avoid barbecue sauce, honey mustard, ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, Worcestershire sauce, soy and teriyaki-based sauces, tomato-based sauces such as pasta sauce, pizza sauce, and salsa. You can still eat white pizza or pesto pizza, but no red sauce. There are still a handful of condiments that you can use, including mayonnaise, most salad dressings, vinegars, butters, and oils. Dry spices and seasonings can be used as tolerated. Garlic and onion powder may bother some people, so pay attention to your symptoms if you use these. During these two weeks avoiding fructose, it is recommended that you take a standard multivitamin. Look on the product for the appropriate dosage for your age. It is also important to continue to eat from all the food groups while avoiding fructose-containing products. You should still be able to consume a majority of grains, protein, dairy, and numerous vegetables. If you've already suffered from significant weight loss and are having trouble eating enough, you should make an appointment to speak with your dietitian following this video. The thing about fructose intolerance is everyone is different, so you'll have to find out what works and what doesn't work for you. The good news is you may not have to eat like this forever. After two weeks, you should be feeling symptom-free. Now you can start slowly reintroducing foods into your diet to see which ones produce symptoms and you should avoid, and which ones you can tolerate and continue to eat. The key here is to introduce foods slowly, one at a time. This is the only way to know what food is causing the symptoms. It's all trial and error. After your two weeks of total elimination, pick one food you'd like to reintroduce and try a small amount of it, and keep your food journal. Here's how to do that. Write down the type of food you're introducing, the amount you're eating, and when you're eating it. Write down any symptoms you experience. We recommend waiting a full three days before introducing another food to be sure you're tracking the effects of the particular food you've reintroduced. The lowest fructose-containing fruits are bananas, plums and apricots, cantaloupe, and berries. So these are good fruits to try first when reintroducing. The highest fructose-containing fruits are watermelon, apples, and pears. Most other fruits fall somewhere in between. Save the condiments and concentrated juices for last, and keep that journal. After your initial two weeks with the gradual reintroduction of small amounts of fructose-containing foods, if your symptoms do not improve, contact your GI physician. If you have questions, please ask the nurse to get you in contact with a dietitian or schedule an appointment at the front desk on your way out. Thanks for watching. We know you can do it.